Of course a series is never technically over until a team wins all four games, but for all intents and purposes the Toronto Raptors could have sealed a round one victory with a win against the Washington Wizards on Friday night. Early on it appeared to be business as usual for the Raptors. Toronto jumped out to a nine-point lead, thanks in large part to a spectacular performance from the starting unit. However, in what continues to be the biggest surprise of the series so far, Washington's bench outplayed Toronto's, allowing the Wizards to take a one-point lead after the first quarter. More from Raptors Raptors Wizards controlled most of the second quarter. John Wall and Bradley Beal were spectacular combining for 22 points on 8-10 shooting. The Raptors meanwhile, turned the ball over seven times, negating a solid shooting quarter where the team hit greater than 58% of its shots. The second half belonged to the Wizards. Washington outscored Toronto 32-21 in the third quarter, and by the time the fourth had started, the game was essentially over. March and Gorda dominated the Raptors in the second half, thanks in large part to Jonas Valanciunas is overhelping during pick-and-roll defense. Many factors need to be accounted for in any 19-point loss but the biggest story of the game for the Raptors was turnovers. Toronto turned the ball over an uncharacteristically high 18 times. That along with Toronto's inability to get back after misses, helped the Wizards score 21 fast break points. The Raptors did not receive any standout performances from any one individual. DeMar DeRozan scored 23 points but did so relatively inefficiently, Jonas Valanciunas played great on offense but was eaten alive on the other end, and after an impactful first two games, Serge Ibaka was nowhere to be found. Perhaps the best performance of the night was from rookie Og Ananobi. Ananobi continued to play spectacular defense on both John Wall and Bradley Beal, while also scoring 12 points on incredibly efficient scoring. A win on Friday night would have essentially closed the series, but even with a loss, Toronto is still in the driver's seat after two games. A loss on Sunday, however, can cause things become more interesting. The Raptors will still own home court, but momentum might just start to swing in the other direction. Toronto will play Game 4 against the Washington Wizards Sunday 6 p.m. Eastern Time.